Greetings and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host Ace, and today we're looking at an absolute classic, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3D. First released in that ever titular year of 1998 for both PC and the Nintendo 64, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3D actually began what became one of the best air combat franchises ever made, even comparable to the Ace Combat games. Which is why it's rather unfortunate that it doesn't run as well on modern hardware as it should, but we're here to fix that. For those of you who are curious, I will be testing out today's fixes with the Steam version of the game. However, the GOG.com version works with these fixes just as well. But in any case, let's dive in. The first thing you will want to do after, of course, installing Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3D is to download and extract DG Voodoo 2. Once this is done, the next step is to copy all the files found within the MS folder within the DG Voodoo 2 folder and paste them into the same folder that contains the game's executables, specifically roguesquadron.exe and rogue.exe. It's important to note that these executables will be located in the rogue folder of the game's main directory. Next up, you will want to start DG Voodoo 2 and select Add. From here, navigate to the folder that contains the roguesquadron.exe file and the rogue.exe file. Remember, it's actually the rogue folder within the game's main directory itself. Once this is done, go ahead and configure that particular profile as shown here, and then go into the DirectX tab and then once again configure that particular profile as shown here. So far we've managed to lay the groundwork to allow this game to run in full 1080, however we still need to fix an odd camera bug that this game currently possesses. The answer is to download and install a program known as RevaTuner Statistics Server. Once this is done, go into RevaTuner Statistics Server's main directory and right click on rtss.exe and select Properties. From here, go into the Compatibility tab and make sure to run the program as admin. Once you click OK, go ahead and start RevaTuner Statistics Server and click Add. From here, go ahead and navigate to the roguesquadron.exe file specifically and select it. Once this is done, go ahead and configure that particular profile as shown here. You may have to restart RevaTuner Statistics Server before these changes take effect. Next up, we need to find the roguesquadron.exe file and right click on it and select properties. From here, go to the compatibility tab and set it to run in Windows 98 mode. Also, don't forget to set this file to run as admin as well. Next up, let's start up Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3D itself. This will bring up the launcher and first make sure to go into the hardware configuration button and then the change 3D video card button. From here, make sure that it's set to D3D mode. And also make sure that the joystick options are properly configured to use whatever joystick or controller you intend to use. Next up, we need to actually launch the Star Wars Rogue Squadron game itself. You will find that the menu screen is right now quite laggy to use, however we need to run this game in Windows 98 mode for the moment so we can set up the profile as well as set the controller mode to default settings. However, once you're sure that the game has saved your particular setup, go ahead and exit out of it and undo all of the compatibility changes you've made to Rogue Squadron.exe. Finally, you want to start the game up again and change the resolution to the highest resolution that you can use, as well as map the controller configuration to the exact specifications that you wish. Congratulations, if you've done everything correctly, you'll find that Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3D will now be fully playable on your particular PC. Just make sure to keep RevaTuner Statistics server running in the background while you play. I hope those of you who have been having trouble getting this game to run properly find this particular guide most helpful. And in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. ASAP. 